Hey there guys, today I am back with another model review, and today we're doing the Alaska Airlines Retro Q400, which is probably my favorite livery on all of the Alaska Airlines Q400s, and since it is Q400, Gemini uses their snap boxes for this, and these are my favorite style of boxes, they're not the ones that just fold out at the ends. Now this has a white foam insert along with the metal stand, and opening it up, there it is. Now this is very comparable to the other model that I just reviewed, and like I had said in that one, I haven't noticed any uh, printing flaws or anything. Like with the CRJ700 I have, I've noticed that one of the wiper blades has wiped off, presumably from the factory. Um, now with this model, it does have articulating nose gear that turns, and all the wheels are rubber, metal, and they roll. And underneath you've got the little gem, I'll call it, for the beacon light. And for the props, let's see if the camera will uh, focus here. They seem like they wiggle a little bit, but that's alright, because they are made out of metal, and they spin quite freely. And for the tail, uh, there is a little bit of a gap there, but that just seems to be how it goes. It kind of makes sense, because on the real plane there's a gap where the rudder is. And overall, I'm super happy with it. There's no funky colors, kind of like uh, people were complaining about the uh, Southwest Golden Retro livery, because it looked kind of like mustard. Not so much like uh, actual sans colors, but with this, super happy with it. Glad it's on my shelf. And uh, I'll be bringing a lot more videos like this in the future. I just want to make some quick reviews. Uh, not wasting too much time talking about the boxes or anything. Just so if you guys are thinking of getting one, you know what you're getting into. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll be bringing more soon.